I occasionally visit my son's <coughs> house. It has a huge garden, a small estate actually, a magnificent view, and I look down on them. I live in the village. I have a garden where I grow my own veg. There's a marvellous view, if it weren't for a few houses in the way. I look up to her in her splendid house, but I look down on her. I know my place. I can't afford to live in the village. I have garaging, a turning circle, and space to pull oodles of cars when my rallies and, of course, my influential friends come to stay. I have a garage with a car in it and enough space to have to put up with other people turning round in my drive because they've come up the wrong lane. I don't care where I leave my white van when I come to work for these two. I like to park it where it's going to annoy anybody else. <laughs> I have caterers in when I entertain my guests, who would of course only be my social equivalents. I am the caterer for her. I have friends around for supper and I don't tell them it's a Tesco meal deal. I go down the pub with cheesy chips. <laughs> when I'm here, I fully support village events by giving substantial donations. As belies my social status, I occasionally arrange my house parties to coincide with the quaint little village traditional <laughs> gatherings. <laughs> I organise village events. You pick and choose when you can be bothered to grace us with your presence. I do the work. <laughs> My PA arranges for our yacht and crew to be ready to receive our party to view the lovely little local regatta. <laughs> I hope my caterer gets the Fortman Mason Hampers order correct this time, otherwise we'll have to meet at the yacht club. <laughs> Dan, I wanted to go out on my own boat and go to the barbecue at the Diggy Club. Now I have to put up with this obnoxious woman and her snotty friends. You lot are lucky to have boats, I haven't got one. I hope it rains all day. <laughs> I should be down the working men's club on the beer. Well, I should be happily retired, but I'm having to wait another six years to get my pension, so I have to resort to catering for the likes of her. Well, I look down on them. <laughs> I'm not going to retire. Not while I can make a fast buck out of these silly luggers. <laughs> I return to my boudoir every afternoon. <laughs> my husband and I are true blue Tories. Such a pity David <coughs> and Samantha are no longer at number 10. Mrs May isn't quite our sort. <laughs> well, I voted Lib Dem for years. Who is the leader? <laughs> Mabian Colonel forever! Independence for Cornwall! <laughs> <laughs>